Next day, Thomas was at the washdown near the junction when Gorin arrived. It was autumn, and the wind was blowing stronger. This made Gordon cross her still. At the next station was a sign, all trains must wash down daily. James had just finished being cleaned. He finished his journey safely and steamed into the big station. Sir Topham Hat was waiting. So were Gordon's coaches and the passengers. Gordon was soon being washed, and two men were cleaning him. The hosing and scrubbing stopped. Gordon opened one eye, but shut it quickly. So Gordon had to spend his time pulling trucks. He felt his position deeply. James got ready to take the express when Gordon returned. The train was soon running nicely. But a distant signal checked them close to Gordon's Hill. Gordon's Hill used to be bleak and bare. Strong winds from the sea made it hard to climb. Trees were planted to give shelter, and in summer, the trains run through a leafy avenue. Now autumn had come and dead leaves fell. The wind usually puffed them away, but today rain made them heavy and they didn't move. The home signal showed clear. And James began to go faster. He started to climb the hill. Halfway up, he was not so sure. But try as he would, his wheels slipped on the leaves, and he couldn't pull the train at all. His fireman put sand on the rails to help him grip. But James's wheels spun so fast that it ground the sand and leaves into slippery mud, making things worse than before. The train slowly stopped. Then, although his wheels were turning forwards, the heavy coaches were pulling him backwards. And the whole train started slinking down the hill. James's driver shut off steam, carefully put on the brakes and skillfully stopped the train. So the guard warned the signalman and they brought the, the train safely down. But Gordon, who had followed with a goods train, saw what had happened. Gordon left his trucks and crossed over to James. James didn't answer. He had no steam. James waited until he had plenty of steam. And then clouds of smoke and steam towered from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. The greasy rails sometimes made Gordon's wheels slip, but he never gave up. And presently they reached the top. Gordon watched the coaches blissfully until they were out of sight. Then slowly he trundled back to his waiting trucks.